Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Factorio. I love this game. This game, I was just telling Northern Lion and Mathis about it. Uh, well, they, they knew about the game, of course, before me, but... Um, just that it, it's replaced Dota for me. It's like the most addictive game I think I've played in a very long time. Alright, so we are running a bit low on coal for our primary burning reactor type E setup thing. We are also kind of hard-pressed to actually tap into the rest of these resources here. So 3.2k and 4.k something k. I guess we go here and here is really the best we can do. And that'll have to work for now. Unfortunately it's all coming in on one side of the track so we will go ahead and put in a splitter. Let's also upgrade this pole to a larger size one. Now, I've been reading a lot on the uh, Factorio forum about... I think that works, yeah? Good. About how to, to automate the shutting down, like, you know, I've been complaining a bit about how all these accumulators don't really do anything unless our lasers fire, right? If you look over the last, say, 10 hours of gameplay, that's the only time they ever got used, is when we were using lasers against a base. Other than that, it's vast majority of production is coming from steam engines and a tiny bit of production is coming right now from solar panels that's fine there's really no reason to invest in more solar panels though if the steam engines are just going to do all of the work so what we need to do is we need to okay i'm going to see if i can figure this out while recording i've not actually done this successfully yet but i've got the basic idea i think of it to do this, what we need is think of this entire chain of electrical wires as one electric network. If we had a separate network that was not connected to this network, we would have two electric networks. So what we want to do is we want to use A or an accumulator, just one. Do we have any of them, by the way? I don't think I have any in my inventory. There might be some in the network. can't recall. No, it doesn't look like I have any. Okay, well, let's build one. So we need to have a single accumulator that is essentially a... It's a sensor. We're going to use it to detect when day and night start. So what we want is this network here, and we want a separate network over here. So a separate pole that's not connected to the existing network. So even if it's just like, you know, this close, it can be just this far off. And we actually want it to overlap in such a way that the two... We want this accumulator that I've built, wherever it went, to be part of both networks. Or something. Somehow. I don't know if that's... How do, how do we do that? Can I, Oh, we can actually disconnect wire. I think. I think there's a shortcut key for it. Controls. Uh, remove pole cables. Shift plus left mouse button. There we go. So we've got these two things are right next to each other, but they're not connected. So now we throw the accumulator down, and it's going to be part of both networks. Okay? So again, I'm figuring this out on the fly. We can also always tab out between this. You know, it's amazing. I actually have the ability with the recording software I'm using right now to just tab freely out of the game, and it doesn't crash, and it's really cool. So we can go look it up on the wiki if we really need to. But the idea is that this thing is going to charge based on the primary network. Okay? Now we need to create the actual sensor. We need to create a fast inserter. And I have no iron. I also can't request stuff yet. Let's uh, let's do character logistics slots. Let's go find some iron. Do we have any iron in the network? We do. But I can't request it because I don't have that technology yet. Just give me some iron, please. Just a little bit. What is going on here? This is all messy. This is some craziness here. Oh, no wonder. This thing is uh, its filtered to only gather the, uh, the copper. That would explain why we've got a bit of a mess. And why this thing is all falling apart. Do you even need iron? Why is the iron going that way? I completely forget why I sent iron that way in the first place. Oh, I know. It's because iron was only coming in on one side or something. Well, let's, um... Hmm. How are we going to fix this? First off, let's just pick all this stuff up. See if we can get it functional again. 
we need the iron to not go down that path because it's clogging up the inserters here. They can't they can't do anything. From where can we pull the iron? Gosh, this sure is a messy network. Well, since there are, it's just all kind of streaming in, let's let's do this. We'll go an underground one here to an underground one here. We'll route this now instead of that way down and into that. We will crap broke it. That goes there. That thing is going there. We do need, still need the iron or the uh, the copper plates. So that can go there. And so now we've got iron on some sides. And this used to just be copper gears. That's what was coming out. Only copper gears. I'll just create a filter here. I'll just, just do a smart inserter. Why am I making them? I have like 40 of them. Okay, you smart inserter, you are going to grab iron plates as they come out. You're going to put them into a passive provider chest. Another fairly expensive little investment that we have to make. Once we get character logistics slots, we can have some raw materials on hand like the coil and uh, advanced circuitry, so we don't have to make that stuff. We can just, just have it with us. Okay, this is a passive request, passive provider chest. Okay, and then also, yeah, um, somebody commented that the reason why the game seems to lag every now and then is because I've got the autosave interval on two minutes, and every two minutes it's saving. I'm going to do autosave up to like 15. I very rarely, the only time I ever really need to worry about autosave is when, uh, if you go and do something suicidal, which I don't very often do. So you should be capable of pulling all the iron off, right? You're not going to miss any. Looks like he's doing okay. So pick up all this iron again. Now we should see this kind of work in the right way. Ish. That's what's slowing down our research. We have no red science packs right now because these gears are not coming out. Alternatively, what I could do is we could just properly split this up and have... Well, first, let's just do more gear production. What am I thinking? We have tons of iron and no gears, so let's just make more gear production. I have none of these on me. Go with regular assembling machines because I don't want to spend extra stuff on them. We still don't have very many bots in the network. How many are there? There are 30, apparently. It doesn't feel like there's that many, but I guess so. Okay. Why have you guys stopped making this? You have no iron. So I messed something up a while back. This is supposed to be iron on one side. All right, what if we do this? That might be what I had changed. Iron needs to be on just one side. And the, the other things need to be on just one side. And we can't siphon it all off. That does not work. So how do we fix this? Hmm. And I can't turn it all into gears because this thing, these things need iron. I need gears to come in on the bottom track here and on the bottom track here. So we need gears on the bottom track. All gears are being made on the bottom track. So that part's fine. I need all iron to be on the other side of the track. That's the issue. Okay, that's very nice. How messy is this? OK, 
Okay, iron's on the in interior track. Gears are on the uh, exterior track. Now it should work again, right? And we just stop, stop filtering the iron now. No, that's still not really right. I don't want iron going out there. I think what it might have been is that in the past it just didn't have enough iron production. And so now the iron's filtering in or something. All right, let's just, just this isn't making me mad. Let's just get rid of all this. This whole assembly's messed up now. Alright, I think we have enough of those things anyway, don't we? Only 400, I guess that's not that many. And they are being used by stuff. Well, how on earth did these things get on? Why are there blue ones here? My whole network's really messy right now. I don't like this at all. Alright, so we need to make <clears throat> some gears. We're going to make gears. We need to put those gears onto a separate track, I think. So we've got raw iron, and then we've got gears. Let's tell you to make gears. That's not gears. That's gears. Okay, make gears. Here's your input. Here's your output. Why are you putting them on the wrong side? He is he's doing it. You little dummy. All right, so gears are on the right side. That's correct on both accounts. So I really just want gears to go down this track and this track. Do I? I don't actually need gears on this track, do I? Because they were grabbing iron, so I need gears to go straight through there. Let's just let's just go with that for now. No, that's not correct either. I need gears to go straight through there. And gear and iron to go through this one. In either pattern. Does not matter how they look. I feel so dumb because like I can't figure this out. I don't know what I did to break it. It just makes me feel stupid. Clearly we will need to use a splitter on the gears. So you guys just go to there. That handles that. You've got your copper, you've got your gears. Simple. You are going to go up and around go under So you got gears on the bottom. With iron connecting on one side. Down that path, which allows circuitry to be made. I don't even did I need gears? Yes, yeah, so you needed gears. You are gathering all the gears. Stop that. Let's 
let's set some some criteria. So you're only going to pick up your iron if the logistic network has less than, say, 200. 300. And you are only going to pick up your gears if the logistic network has less than 300. So 700, so that means that these gears and this iron should just never be really drawn upon. We'll just, just gather the... Alright, so we fixed whatever I messed up. I don't know how that happened. I apologize. Anyway, what did I... Why was I coming over here in the first place? Logistics Network. Right, got it. Science wasn't being made. We're making red potions again? Good. Okay. Now we have five uh, logistics slots, so we can request stuff. I was going to make something. I was going to make a smart inserter. Or, or something. Okay, let's do this. Let's make some red wire. And you know what? I'm actually going to take a break here, and then I'm going to... In the next video, we'll, we'll figure out how to make this day-night cycle sensor work. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again soon.